my name is Inta Fahana binti Basri and my two other friends are Muhammad Fahim bin Fauzi and Nur Alia Kistina binti Muhammad Khalid. We are from MRSM Kuban Pasu with team ID T0532. Anyway guys, have you ever wondered how our legs can turn from this to this? Let's talk about acid rain first. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide were emitted from the factories to the atmosphere. They will react with water and oxygen in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid. When it rains, the sulfuric acid and nitric acid will pollute the lakes. Next, we have fertilizers and pesticides. When it is sprayed to the crop, not all will absorb. The excess will flow below the ground and contaminate the lakes. What is called as universal solvent as it is capable of dissolving many other substances than any other liquid. However, this means that water is easily prone to pollution. Fish is an important part of healthy diet. They provide a good source of vitamin and protein. But they can take in harmful chemical substances from the water and food that they eat. So if we or any other animal consume this fish, our health will be affected. So how can this happen? Industrial and agricultural practices and stormwater runoff can put all harmful substances into the water. Rain can also wash chemicals from land or air into the water. Fish can absorb contaminants such as PCBs from water and methyl mercury from plankton. PCBs can cause cancer like heart cancer and liver cancer while mercury is really harmful for children because their bodies are still developing. Hey there, now I'm going to tell you how science can help to restore our environment. At first, scientists think that it is impossible to do so until the emergence of a new technology called nanotech. By using nanotech, they make a substance that acts as a micro nanobubbling system. Just imagine it like a bubble inside a carbonated drinks, but make it a million times smaller. This bubble has electromagnetic field that works like a magnet. It will attract virus and bacteria catch them like a spider web. It will also attract contaminated particles and bring them to the surface. As a result, the water will become clean again from any contamination or dangerous microorganism. Therefore, animals and plants will come back as well as humans.